Hey, JP Bailey here. I'm going to go over the relationship history chart here from my home office here in Sacramento, California. It's really early in the morning, so it's nice and quiet. Get this done. Okay, so it's a basic um, Excel spreadsheet. No, I. It's a Google. What do I want to say? Spreadsheet. Um, and it's, I put it together from several different sources. Like I found different um, lists kind of like this and questions. And I just sort of put them all together <clears throat> into a chart. So this is a very extensive, I'd say advanced. So basically, you know, you want to write a list of all of the main partners. Um, relationships that you've had and try to put the year or how old you were at the time and just kind of fill out that first so you kind of have a good list of you know anywhere from three to ten or however many but at least I'd say try to think of three to kind of really get into the patterns and what you see in common <clears throat> And so once you do that, you want to start one at a time. So we, you know, just pick the first one or the last one, whatever is easier, and start answering one question at a time for that particular relationship. So the first one is what motivated you to get into the relationship or get in with that person? I mean, were they good looking? Did they flirt with you? Do you like something about them? And what was the motivation? And, you know, really just try to remember what it, we usually kind of remember those first few thoughts about somebody, um, you know, what we liked about them and why we decided to spend more and more time with them, move in with them or whatever, you know, however it turned into a relationship. What was your motivation? And these are just answers, you know, for you that you're going to review so you could save this for later or for therapy or burn it up later or whatever but we're um, doing this you know in a safe place so just be honest so that you can get the most out of it and a little bit about how it began uh, in general like how you met or how the relationship turned from when you met them to when you decided to date them steady or slept with them or um, you know, how did it turn into meeting a stranger to a relationship? Something happened in there. How did it begin? Okay. The next question, uh, what were you looking for from that relationship? Or what promise did you think would be fulfilled by getting with that person? There was something you thought you'd get out of it. There's some reason you thought they were the one for you. Excuse me. So, um, these are really good soul searching questions to ask. The next one What did you think the relationship was about? Was this, you know, we kind of know, like, okay, this is the guy I want to have children with, or this is just going to be for fun, or um, this is more about some phase I'm going through, you know, whatever whatever you thought the relationship was going to be about. Maybe you thought it was going to be about buying a house and having babies and getting married. Or proving your family wrong. Or being rebellious against your family. Or trying to fit in the family. Whatever. Now, this one I put in green because um, this is what I want. So, what was good about it? What was good about him or her? What are things you still like? you know, that you still want, but without all the other crap you might have put up with. So this will uh, be the beginning of your list of what you really want in a relationship. And you might get some good clues. Maybe they were funny. Maybe they were um, something about them that you, you know, like and still want, okay? Now this in red is, of course, the red flags. What was not good about the relationship? List all the things that you never want to put up with again. The 
toxic stuff, abusive stuff, drugs, cheating, um, lying to you, just, you know, the red flags, and not only the stuff that you maybe put up with and ended up dealing with, but the red flags you saw kind of before you really found out it happened, if you have any. So maybe they were cheating and maybe you um, saw some red flags and chose to ignore that, you know, months earlier. Uh, and looking back, you can kind of see them now. So you want to keep a good list, running list of your red flags, okay? And warning signs. So you'll better be able to see them in other people in the future. A couple of questions about how long it lasted, how did it end, and who ended it. So this is just, um, probably the meat of it is, you know, how did it end. So you can also see your pattern of who ended it and how long it lasted. You might see some patterns. But how it ended is a really good place to look at uh, patterns. How did you feel about yourself in the beginning? during and after the relationship. So this is where you can kind of free flow um, like a couple paragraphs or a good paragraph answering this question. You know, how did you feel about yourself in the beginning of the relationship? And then right in the middle during the relationship, how did you feel about yourself? And then at the end or after it, it ended, how did you feel about yourself? So this is going to look at your self-esteem, your self-beliefs, what, what was happening in that area. And then later, after you maybe got over it, what did you learn about yourself from this relationship? Or what, are you, what insights are you noticing now? And lastly, um, do you see any patterns? So you want to start here with these main columns. So do you see any patterns in this relationship? If so, list them out so you can start collecting. That is really good information. Now once you have uh, you know, three partners filled out for these main questions, at least three or more, and when you're done with that, you're pretty solid there, then we're going to ask a few more questions. So we're going to ask ourselves, why did I take the abuse? What things did you tell yourself to justify it or minimize it? Or were you in denial about it? Or, you know, whatever you can think of, of why, you know, you put up with it, basically. Another good question that dives into that is, what was I able to get away with in exchange for accepting less than I really wanted or deserved? So maybe you took some abuse, but maybe you felt like that they're putting up with you in some way. So it was sort of a give and take. You know, like for me, um, I smoke cigarettes and I wanted some, you know, a lot of people who don't smoke won't date anyone who doesn't smoke. So I was kind of looking for someone who didn't care if I smoked cigarettes. That was one thing, you know, as an example. All right, and then the next, what would I prefer to have or what do I really want instead? So this is where you start getting into your preferences, your options, your choices. What would you have rather had instead of this relationship, how it ended? how it lasted, and what would you have preferred, okay? And then after that, you're asking yourself, trying to pull a button in the revolver, why I don't think I can get what I really want. So sometimes when you ask yourself what you want, like in this box here, what do I really want instead? When you think of what you want, sometimes another little thought comes up about why you really can't have that. Or, you know, it's usually some kind of negative self-belief that'll kind of pop up or there'll be kind of a feeling of like, I don't really deserve it. Or uh, 
it can be a, a variety of things but you just ask yourself this question and write the answers of what pops up in your mind okay so that's that's it there um, you like I said you want to fill this out and then you want to look for some patterns so let me give you a quick example I only have like five minutes left on the video but I want to give you a little example so the year was 1988 uh, let's call him Max what motivated to get me in the relationship well I literally thought he was the one I was young and just some chemistry there or just something about him I just thought he was it how did it begin he basically paid a lot of attention to me he was really sociable and outgoing he talked to me a lot I was kind of shy he kept flirting with me he just seemed very friendly and we just got along from the get-go what was I looking for I was back then I just was looking for someone to love me anyone just someone to love me I was very young I already had a lot of toxic family issues and all that what did I think the relationship was about I thought you know we'd help each other and we'd build a strong life together I thought we'd have kids at least two and you know we'd have this life together and we'd sort of help each other out um, what was good about it that I still want that he was funny and that he really showed a strong like, a liking towards me and I you know made me feel good I really like that when someone likes you and they show it that's what I wanted so I still want that what was the red flags well he was always in and out quite a bit and sort of up and down with jobs and partying and he never could quite relax and eventually turned out he was you know, doing a lot of drugs it lasted about a year it ended because he cheated on me and I'm the one who ended it um, in the beginning I felt special I felt lucky loved and during I felt hopeful but confused and frustrated and eventually I felt depressed and angry like a failure and maybe even ashamed too when it ended what did I learn I learned I was sort of desperate for love and attention I didn't think about what I wanted I was just happy to have someone um, who thought I was special so I overlooked the red flags Thought I was supposed to take the good with the bad is why I put up with the red flags I thought you know everyone has problems so you know. the patterns I found um, that I was tired of being lonely that made me vulnerable I didn't know what I wanted was a big pattern and so I just took what came along why did I take the abuse uh, I didn't really know it was abuse at the time I was sort of being played or used and not really uh, hip to that I was pretty naive um, why did I take the abuse I didn't know it was abuse or that I was being played what was I able to get away with well smoking and I party too you know I drank wine coolers and smoked weed so and I smoked cigarettes and there you know maybe I had some things about me I didn't think were that great and he accept them or put up with them uh, what would I prefer to have or what do I really want instead someone who worked a regular job um, stayed loyal worked on goals with me maybe went to recovery meetings with me that's what I want instead and why I didn't think I could get what I really wanted I Deep down inside, felt no one wants me, no one wants to give to me. This is the best I could get. This is the first one who really wanted to keep at it and not just have like a one night stand. That was the other thing. He wanted a girlfriend and not just, you know, mess around like a lot of other guys I knew. So um, that gave me a lot of insight and it continues on. I filled this out for three people so I could really see the patterns and mostly you know get a good list of the green list and the red list and that's what you want so that you can move on with the other suggestions for when you're ready 
right, hope you got a lot on that.